，这个强劲伟哥王在美国也很流行。来来，过来过来过来。这么多花样，哪种比较好？老板，你一定要试试这个，保证有效。多少钱？四块一盒，给我两盒。谢谢老板。嗯。还有这个，黑蚁王，不然这个强劲伟哥王，中国产的，在美国也非常流行。早说嘛，老兄。<笑>是，咋？老板，我给你我的秘密武器，什么东西？山体牛鞭。山体牛鞭。用了这个，保证妹妹叫你的名字叫不停。真的吗？没问题的。多少钱？五十一盒。这样，给我两盒。今天算你幸运了，刚好只剩最后两盒。真的吗？那一百块。谢谢啊，没有效可以回来找我的，一定。好 ，OK。啊，美女，你叫什么名字啊？我叫明迪。明迪啊，哇、哦，好漂亮的名字啊！谢谢。哎，哦，哎，好了。哟，要读 offer 哈？哎。Are you calling me? Oh, hey, you're not young anymore. It's not like twenty or thirty years ago. Twenty years ago, ah, twenty years from now, I still can get anyone I want. Seriously, ah, you're still doing it, ah. What do you think? Try this. What is this? My secret weapon, Sun Ti Niu Bian. How do you know? Really? You try lah. You won't regret. Come on. Let's go. Come on. 我不能再忍了。快啦！来来，过来，过来，过来
Hello, this is the Pharmaceutical Lab of House Assessors Authority. We have received the sample you sent. Could you please tell us uh, the clinical symptoms of the patient? The patient arrived unconscious. We'd like you to check for drug poisoning. Are there any particular substances that you would like the lab to focus on testing? Yes, the patient's blood sugar level is low. Please check for chemicals that could be the cause. Do you have the results for the specimens we sent in for testing? Yes, we detected the presence of glabankama in the patient's blood and also the metabolite in the patient's urine. OK, thank you. Ma, no, don't worry. I'll be OK. Doctor, how is my husband? He's resting comfortably. We're monitoring his situation very closely. Does your father have diabetes? Ma, my husband has high blood pressure, but not diabetes. How is he? Well, his blood pressure and his sugar level are dangerously low. These are symptoms of someone who's taken an overdose of an anti-diabetic medicine. But my husband is not a diabetic. The drug that was found on your husband contains sildenafil, which is a drug used for treating erectile dysfunction, as well as glubancobine. Doctor, are you saying that my father has been taking some kind of sex drugs? Yes, I'm afraid so. Sudonafil would be a medication used for treating certain male ailments. The drug that we found on your father contains sudonafil as well as clomethamide. So what he took might have been adulterated. So what you're saying is the medicine isn't legal? Yes, I'm afraid it was an illegal sex drug. Is he going to be OK? Well, right now he's unconscious. We're monitoring his situation very closely. We've had a few cases like this. We're doing our very best for him. Doctor, you mentioned there were other cases. How common is this type of poisoning? Well, just two hours ago, we had another male patient who we suspect was also taking similar illegal sex drugs. From the reconstructed story you have just seen, the use of illegal sex drugs is dangerous and can lead to serious health problems. The Health Sciences Authority has received many reports of serious adverse effects associated with the consumption of illegal sex drugs, including reports of epileptic fits, stroke and coma. 341 cases were reported between 2008 and March 2012. 26 persons fell into coma, out of which 11 died. Those who recovered from the coma suffered serious brain damage with permanent disabilities. The cases that actually uh, come to us are usually people who develop side effects from taking these uh, sex enhancement drugs that have been adulterated. There were quite a number of cases who came in uh, by the ambulance. Uh, they were uh, comatose and then uh, unconscious and then they had feeds and they had very low sugar. And even after we gave uh, a sugar supplement through the, uh, uh, through the drip, um, they didn't uh, re uh, what you call recover completely. So these people uh, actually has uh, due to the prolonged duration of low sugar, suffered uh, what we call uh, something like a stroke. So they uh, were in a vegetative state and uh, uh, despite a long, uh, prolonged uh, treatment, uh, they succumbed to their illness. Recently, we have launched a public education campaign to raise the awareness and the dangers of illegal health products. In addition to our media advisories, we have placed advertisements in the newspapers, at bus stops, on buses and MRTs. We've also engaged the social media to help us propagate the message. Illegal health products come in different forms and packagings. It's difficult for the consumer to tell what is real and what is illegal. Uh, to stay safe, don't buy medicines or health products from dubious sources such as makeshift stores, roadside stores, peddlers or hawkers, or even well-meaning friends and relatives who bought the products from overseas. If you need uh, medications or if you have a medical condition, go and see a doctor who will prescribe you with the appropriate medicine. 
The Enforcement Division of the Health Sciences Authority is always on the lookout for peddlers of illegal health products. What you are about to see is a raid carried out by enforcement officers to nab illegal sex drugs peddlers. Okay, team one, green blouse, black pants, short hair, female. Team one is the front guard, right? Go, 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 Raids, such as the one you have just seen, are regularly carried out by the Health Sciences Authority. Anyone caught selling erectile dysfunctional drugs, or sex drugs as they are commonly known, without a license, faces a punishment of up to two years imprisonment, or a fine not exceeding $10,000, or both. After the break, costly hugs for elderly men. You want it? No, I don't do this sort of thing. You, you go away. Go, go away. Yo, I thought you were going to take the car. What are you doing here? I, I left my wallet. Where? Where you put it? I don't know, eh? Who took it? The victim filed a police report. Police advisories were then put up at void decks of HDB flats and public places to alert the public, especially elderly men, to look out for a female pickpocket. The suspect is a woman in her late 40s and early 50s with shoulder-length hair. Her mother's operandi was to distract her victims, elderly men, by touching or hugging them 
and at the same time pick their pockets. Who are you? I can be your friend. Let's go and have a drink. No, no, I don't think so. Thank you. Incidents with similar MO were reported at Jurong East, Bedok South Road, Red Hill Close, Bangkit Road and Marine Terrace. Mister, I lost my key. I can't get into my flat. Huh? My elderly mother is alone and she's very sick. Please help me. Where do you live? I live at block 54, 11th floor. What is your name? Huh? Uh, you can call me Ah Ing. What's your? Oh, I'm Ah Ting. Ah Ting. Hey, what are you trying to do? You don't lie. Hey, what are you trying to do? No, oh, no, no, no. Hey, go away, go away. Please let me go, let me go. Hey, hey, you see? Hey, hey, this is the sixth floor. Lee. Where are you going? TV in this lift, the incident would have been captured. Okay, good. Let's get the recording from the town council. Yes, that's me. And you know what they are saying about me in the coffee shop there? What's that? Dirty old man! They say I tried to take advantage of her, but she is the one who comes to me, not the other way around. We are not trying to accuse you. All we need from you is to verify the woman you were with in the lift. Will you help us? Okay, sure. With the image from the CCTV and an analysis of previous convictions of female pickpockets with similar models operandi, a photo identification session was carried out. That's the one. That's her. You sure? She was so close to me when she stole my money. I'm very sure it's her. The suspect was Tan Yeok Lan. In 1999, Tan Yoklan was sentenced to 11 years preventive detention for stealing from 11 men aged between 52 and 81. Altogether, she had been in and out of prison a total of eight times since 1984. those offences? No, I was alone. Why do you do it? I never finished school. I don't even have a proper job before. What else can I do for myself? Life outside is so tough. Since I'm good at what I'm doing, I just do anything that I can survive. 
Your victims are all elderly men. Why? Why? Because they are easy target? <laughs> they become weak when they see a pretty woman. How do you spend the money? I spend it on food, clothes. Since I have no one else to give the money to, so I spend it all for myself. Oh, I like to buy earrings. Why do you surrender? <laughs> because I saw my face in the newspaper. I know the police are looking for me. Where can I hide? It's so embarrassing. It's so embarrassing. Tan Yeok Lan was found guilty of 11 counts of theft. She was sentenced to 12 years preventive detention. The police meticulously sieved through similar past cases to narrow down the list of suspects. The police crime alerts and news reports with the culprit's picture proved instrumental in her surrender. Be wary when a stranger bumps into you. More so for elderly persons when a stranger suddenly hugs you. If that happens, check your valuables immediately to make sure that nothing has been stolen. We've come to the end of Crime Watch. If you have any feedback, do feel free to drop us an email. I'm DSP Julius Lim, signing off. <laughs>